Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some super quick and easy Halloween treats. These are going to be perfect for a last minute Halloween party. Planning a party is so much work and the last thing you want to do is spend hours and hours in the kitchen. But don't worry, I've got you covered. These treats can be made in no time at all. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. This first treat is one of my favorites and it's one that I make every year. So I'm starting off with some chocolate jello pudding. This is the instant one. So I just went ahead and followed the directions on the package and then I let it sit in the fridge just for a few minutes to thicken up. And next I'm going to be transferring it into these glass jars. So these are just the mini ones that I already had, but they sell a lot of really fun little glass drinkware at Marshalls or Target. There's a bunch of different ones that would work for this. So after I filled them all with some pudding, I'm going to take some Oreos and just basically smash them up in a big Ziploc bag and then I'm going to sprinkle them on top. So we're just trying to make something that looks like dirt right now. Making a mini graveyard for our ghost. And for the ghost, I'm actually just going to be using some Cool Whip. And the way I like to do it is just fill up a piping bag with Cool Whip. I don't have a metal tip in here at all. I just go ahead and use some scissors just to trim the edge of the bag off. That way I can pipe something just like this that kind of resembles a ghost. And now for the last step, we just want to give our ghost some eyes. So I actually have this black food coloring. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a toothpick just to dip it into that food coloring and then give my ghost some eyes, but you can also use black icing for this. That is it for this treat. It is very easy, but I'm telling you, this one is a crowd favorite. It's so fun to eat. Everyone gets their own little mini cup and who does not love Cool Whip and chocolate pudding? Not believe how easy this next one is. All you need is three items. So the first is going to be some store-bought Rice Krispie treats. I went ahead and removed the wrappers from those. The second thing you're going to need is some melted white chocolate. And I'm just using a piping bag to put a little bit of chocolate on each treat. That way I can add the third item we are going to be using and that is the candied eyes. You're going to take that melted white chocolate and just start to drizzle it all over your Rice Krispie treats. I like to go in all different directions and this is going to create the bandages for your mummies. This is it. Very easy. I like to throw this in the fridge for a few minutes just to harden and then these are ready to serve. Definitely a really fun one on the treat table. Next, we are going to decorate this store-bought cake and turn it into something really spooky. So I'm gonna be using this Entenmann's cake and some white icing. So all I'm gonna do is just put that icing into a piping bag and I trimmed off the tip of the bag. And now I'm just going to pipe a really simple spider web. So I started off with some straight lines all leading into one corner and then just made some curved lines. And I did go ahead and just thicken it up at the end. So now that we have our spider web, we just need to create a spider. And to do this, I just melted some purple chocolate wafers in the microwave and then I put them into a piping bag. And now I just have some wax paper here on my baking sheet and I'm just going to freehand a spider, just something really simple. So I went with a circle for the head and oval for the body and then I'm going to give him two little fangs and for the legs, just to give it something a little bit special, I just decided to make these little lines like this. That way I could actually make them stand up on the cake and give it a little bit of a 3D effect. Once I was done piping my chocolate, I just let it harden in the fridge before I popped it out and then put it onto my cake. And that is it, a very easy spider cake. And this can be done the day of a party because it really does not take much time at all. For this next treat, I found something that is going to make the process so easy. So this is the Good & Gather, this is a Target brand. And it's this vanilla candy coating. It's basically white chocolate, but it's meant for dipping. So it comes in this tray. All you have to do is just pop the tray in the microwave and it melts itself right in that tray. So there's no cleanup and it's a really good size for dipping. So once I melted the chocolate, I just dipped all of my strawberries into it. And then I let my strawberries harden in the fridge. You'll see when I'm laying them on my plate, I try to drag them a little bit just to create a little bit of a ghost tail. So once the white chocolate was hardened, I just melted down some regular chocolate to pipe on a little ghost face. 
And that is it for this one. It is these delicious strawberry ghosts. They're a little bit spooky, but a lot yummy. Next, we are going to be creating a spider web. So I'm starting off with eight pretzel sticks and then I'm laying them out in this pattern here. And I do have them on a piece of parchment paper. Next, I'm just going to take some melted white chocolate in a piping bag, put a little dollop in the center, and then start to make a swirl going around all of my pretzel sticks. Now, after you do your swirl, you just want to pop these in the fridge and let them harden. And that is it. You have yourself a beautiful and delicious spider web. They're great just like this, but if you want to really make them special, you can add some fun Halloween sprinkles to the white chocolate before it completely hardens or even a candy spider in the center. This next one is going to be the easiest treat from this video and a great one to do with kids. So I'm starting off with some Entenmann's donuts. Now, if you're gonna recreate this, I would actually probably get a bigger donut if you can. I'll show you why in a minute. But I'm gonna be using the store-bought plastic vampire fangs and some candy eyes. Add the eyes to my donuts. I just added a little bit of icing, basically to act like glue. And then I just stuck my eyes on. And then next, I'm going to be adding those plastic fangs right into the center to create a donut monster. But I told you before that if I was going to redo this or if you guys want to redo this at home, I would suggest using a larger donut. And that is because in my tester ones here, as you can see, the fangs actually burst open the donut and split it in half because they were too strong for these tiny little donuts. Now, since this is all I had, I had to make it work. So I actually dipped my fangs into hot water just to make the plastic a little bit softer. And when I took them out, I pinched them closed, let them dry like that. That way they wouldn't be as open and then they fit into the center just fine. But if you go ahead and use a larger donut, you could skip that step altogether. Next, we are going to be turning these Entenmann's Pop-Ums into mini bats. So to start off, you just wanna take the Pop-Ums out of the box and either put them on a plate or a tray. Now I'm going to grab some white icing and I just put it into a piping bag for this step just to help out a little bit. And I basically just created a little dot and then I dragged it down and this is just to give the donut hole the appearance of fangs. So after you gave all your little mini bats fangs, we're going to have to give them some wings. So to create the wings, I just melted some chocolate and then I put it into a piping bag and I'm just going to pipe out a really simple shape on a piece of parchment paper to resemble a bat wing. Start to pipe enough wings so that I would have two for each one of the pop-ums. And then I just put this into the fridge to let it harden. I will say a helpful step for this is just to use a knife to create a little bit of a hole in the side of the donut before you insert that wing. And you do wanna let these wings get nice and hard in the fridge before you go ahead and pop them into the donut hole. And that is it, a little mini bat these are super cute and they're really yummy. Are the perfect treats for all of those chocolate lovers that are going to be at your Halloween party. And those are all of the Halloween treats that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed these. If you did, please let me know down below in the comments. I wanted to come up with some fun, quick and easy things that you guys could put together when you are throwing your Halloween party. I know how busy it can be and how much work throwing a party can be. So it's always helpful to have some treats that you can get together quickly, but that are still going to be really fun and yummy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to check out this video for some more Halloween fun.